music at its root just really connects with me on a deep level. It taps in to an emotion that I don't get with anything else. When you're working on an instrument, everything kind of goes away. I'm Mike Carrigan, the founder of BAC Musical Instruments. They call me the Horn Doctor. That's my, my stage name, I guess. At BAC, we're not making tens of thousands of that instrument a year. We're making one at a time. These techniques have been handed down from master craftsmen to apprentice for literally hundreds of years. Doing what we do the way we do it, it's kind of like a living museum. So we're trying to preserve the way instruments used to be made, creating something from a flat, raw piece of brass. When I have a bell in my hand and a mallet in the other and I'm pounding it against a block of wood, I'm so focused on what I'm doing because we want something that sounds unparalleled with any other company out there. Just being able to create something with your hands, acoustically, it, it absolutely provides a particular quality of sound and responsiveness for the musician. The way the instruments play, the way they, they sound and react, is really a big part of why we do what we do. But it's also a tribute to all of the American craftsmen that came before us. All of the great masters of manufacturing brass instruments in the United States since the early 1800s. This is absolutely a dying craft. If we weren't doing this, it could go away forever. At BAC, we work intimately with our musicians. Each of our artists, the instrument is made specifically for them. So we're not making a trombone, we're making your trombone. When an instrument is mass produced and you have, let's say, a bell arrives from a piece of brass into a particular shape, yes, the shape will dictate the pitch and the tone and how the horn will sound. But it's more about how the bell arrived at that shape that truly dictates the character of the sound. So if you think about an old samurai sword, the way that they fold over the steel, they hammer and pound out the steel, they fold it over and they pound it out. Every time you do that, you're strengthening the molecules of the steel and you're making it stronger. You do that a thousand times, you can literally slice through another sword. What's not so different on brass, every time we hammer and pound the horn out, you're changing the molecules of the brass, and we anneal it, we hammer it. So you're constantly moving the brass back and forth, and you're changing its state many, many times. So what we find is that there's more colors to the sound, there's more overtone, there's more depth and complexity to the sound. And that's one of the magical things we do. Quite literally, the sound is more interesting for the musician and also for the audience. Because of the nature of it being handcrafted, every single instrument's gonna have its own identity. they're all going to be unique to themselves. And that's part of the beauty for a musician to be able to get something truly handmade because the sound is going to be their distinct sound that only that horn can do. They want to have a distinctive sound. They want to have their sound. We can't possibly duplicate that. 
exactly ever again. When I hear my horns on stage, it's just a, an overwhelming feeling. You're accessing something that is a really deep meditation. They're pouring their soul into that instrument and they're expressing themselves in the deepest way you could possibly imagine. And being a part of that extension of their soul, I get the goosebumps every time. It's like, man, I'm part of this. I'm allowing them to access their voice. That's just unlike anything I can describe. Having instruments out in the world, literally around the world, it's the legacy of not only myself, it's the legacy of the people that work here that are equally as passionate as I am, that are dedicated as much as I am. And I think that's what makes what we do really remarkable. With each instrument that's handmade, the legacy of that craftsman lives on through it.